lesson you learned in high school? The most important lesson I've learned in high school is to just be myself because people are going to accept you more if you're yourself rather than if you're trying to be someone else. So, yeah. um, an important lesson that I learned in high school was to uh, meet people outside of your own grade and to become friends with them because there are a lot of people that maybe are interested in your classes that you can like become really good friends with and that's how you just meet people. Is there anyone you would like to thank? Um, I definitely would like to thank um, all my teachers, the ones especially that inspired me to just like work harder, and the ones that taught me good learning and studying ethic. And um, also, I'd like to thank my friends for always like supporting me and uh, making sure I'm okay every day. And if I don't have a smile on my face, they make sure I do. And I'm really thankful for everybody. What faculty member had the biggest impact on you? Mr. Cunningham. Um, Mrs. Tut and Mrs. Pappas, um, because they, for example, Mrs. Tut is like the funniest person I know and <laughs> always makes me laugh and never takes any of my crap, so I learned to just sort of like be mature and Mrs. Pappas just helped me with everything that was like, if I was having an issue with my math or my like social life, and she would always help me out, so I'm so uh, thankful for them. Yes, I have two. I would like to thank Mr. Ciavera. He teaches environmental science and he's just such a fun teacher. He's always joking around and having a good time. And he definitely values learning about yourself and, and that side of education more than just testing and the material that you have to learn in class. Like he'll stop class in a heartbeat to tell a joke or if someone's having a bad day, you can always go talk to him and he cares about that a lot and he gives you time to relax. Another teacher who had a really big impact on me was Mr. Maggiato, or a lot of people call him Madge. He was my calc teacher last year and he helped me so, so much in math because I wasn't that confident 
uh, with, with Matt, and so I would stay after a lot with him. He just made himself ab available at any time to help to talk about anything, math or just about life. He would always help me out, and just he he made me feel like I could do it. He he made me feel like anything was possible with math and with uh, other components of life too. So that I'm gonna miss both of them a lot next year. They help me help shape me into the student and person I am, and I'll. I'll keep what they taught me. For yes, I would love to thank more than anything Miss Donna Lavelle. I had her my junior year for Spanish and she was just the absolute best. I loved having her every day in class. Even if we had a quiz or a test I didn't study for, she always brightened my day, no matter what it was. And throughout senior year, when I didn't have her anymore, we stayed even closer than we were junior year. We would talk about everything and anything from school to what we were doing over the weekend to what we wanted to do in 10 years. Miss Laval just knows how to be an incredible, productive and effective teacher, but she's also the most personable, incredible, wise woman I know. And I'm so grateful for my time with her in this school. I would like to thank Lowalbo definitely. He really showed us how the verbal it's going to be scary and it's not going to be what you think. But as long as you really work hard and you study in college and try and like really put yourself out there, you'll be definitely okay. What faculty member had the biggest impact on you? Probably Mr. Gumas. He's taught me a lot over the past two years. Like I'm really going to miss his wisdom. Me too. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I want to be a neonatal nurse, um, probably in like Ireland or like England. I want to do like studies abroad um, and hopefully like with family and like settle down. So, so, so your answer. <laughs> I'm going to be on tour of future. It's going to be my tour, not my girl's tour. I see myself in 10 years hopefully being an oncology nurse. Maybe in New York, maybe Florida with the family. Tammy. Tammy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right here. Just like this. I know no way. Define high school in one word. Unforgettable. Adventure. Adventure. The woods. Yeah, the woods. We can say the woods. Anarchy. Imaginable. Loco. What do you wish you could tell your freshman self? Um, to not like try not to like slack off with your grades or anything. Like, really try because they like they do like impact your overall GPA and everything in colleges and stuff. But also just to like don't be like so like stuck up. And just have like a good time. Enjoy high school life. I would tell my freshman self not to stress out about it too much and to be nice to everybody because it pays off. I would tell my freshman self to branch out and talk to more people. I've been friends with the same people my whole life, which is good because they're awesome, but I became friends with so many great people this year that I normally wouldn't have talked to. So I tell myself not to be shy, just become friends with who you want to become friends with. To be confident in yourself and to always trust your instincts and to, yeah, that's it. I tell myself, don't stress about the little things, your homework assignments, your tests, none of that really matters at the end of the day. You're going to end up where you need to be. And I would tell myself to go to all the sporting events I could go to and have fun with my friends. I wish I could tell my freshman self to, you know, take more chances and put myself out there more instead of like just laying back and then, you know, in the corner, I guess, you know, be out there more and be more outgoing like I am now. <laughs> Um, I would tell my freshman self to cherish your time here because it goes by really fast. Stop. Is there anything you would like to redo in high school? <laughs> redo? Nah. We don't like to redo. Nah, no regrets. <laughs> no no regrets. Always no regrets. Always no regrets. No <laughs> Next question. Don't look how do you want the class of 2016 to be remembered? I want the class to be remembered as a genuinely nice class. There's always a fundraiser for a local charity going on or people just helping each other out. So I think that we're just overall a selfless class and that's how I want to be remembered. It's dynamism. It's its ability to, to rile people up. It's ability to... And there's that kind of connection between the class of 2016 that I don't think any of the grades got. You know, we're all friends with each other, we all know each other, we all have that cohesive kind of glue that we stick together. 
So I think that's how the class of 2016 is going to be remembered, is just how good we are. I mean, we are the best grade, but we are going to be remembered, for, I think, for our cohesiveness with each other, for our friendships that we forge with each other. I think that's going to be the lasting contribution to the class of 2016. How do you want the class of 2016 to be remembered? Fearless. <laughs> Um, I would say I want the class of 2016 to be remembered for always going against the grain. I feel like the class of 2016 kind of always push administration a little too far, in a good way though, and we always were kind of um, trying to really make our senior year personalized and different from the other years. And we were always looking to um, try new things with uh, senior week and at the pep rally, we were always looking to kind of just do something different and I mean that was definitely hard with what we were doing in the school but that's what I mean when how we always push administration we were always looking to do something different and I think that the class of 2016 should be remembered for going against the grain. I like them to be remembered by like just our kindness and I hope that we're good role models for everyone throughout the school and that they would want to be seniors just like us and you know be kind and respectful like us as well. So. I want the class to be remembered for always empathizing with others and being considerate. <laughs> um, I want to be remembered as a class that was always positive and we always were doing something fun and different. And we just kind of just, like proved to people that like we were like a good class because like at times like, we were like very like distant from each other, but like when it came down to it, we were always like so close and we had to have fun and just Kind of, we appreciate every like moment life handed us. Is there anything you regret not doing? Um, I would say the one thing that I do regret not doing is not going out every single chance that you get in high school. Because you got four years to hang out with these friends, and you got the rest of your life to sit behind a desk and do work. So I'll make the most of it. Um, I regret not playing more sports like early on in my high school years because later on, like it was hard to pick up a new sport and like play at a varsity level, especially not like not playing them before or being growing up playing one certain sport. So if I had any advice to like freshmen, I would say play any sport that you consider playing through high school early on. And if you don't like it, you can always quit and stop playing, but it's better to start it out young than wait till your junior and senior year. Quick stop, midnight tea top, Jack in her cherry coat town. Mama and daddy put their roots right here, cause this is where the car broke down. Yellow dog school bus, kicking up red bus, kicking us up by barbed wire fence. MTV on the RCA, no AC in the vents. We were Jesus, Sammy, blue jean baby, born in the USA. Trailer park truck stops, faded little map dots, New York to L.A. We were teenage dreaming, front seat leaning, baby, come give me a kiss. Put me on the cover of the Rolling Stone, uptown, down on American kids.
but the same old song If you don't mind catching up I'll spend the day Telling you stories about a land far away So